So what's up you lovely bunch? Thought it was time I gave you a look round the paddy. Our 1380 turbocharged, yep, 1380 turbocharged, 130 brake horsepower. Absolutely wild, stunning works. Stroke Monte Carlo, rally winning inspired styling. Obviously, as you can see, it is finished in tartan red with a white roof, the white decals, the matching white stripes, extremely rare Mercury 10x6J aloe wheels, and then of course, all of the little works rally inspired team styling. This started life as a 1991 Rover Mini Cooper. Um, obviously it presents extremely differently now with a Mark I front end. All of the Cooper badging. Obviously the 10 inch wheel conversion. A stunning Mark One light and boot lid conversion as well. Obviously, <coughs> all the chrome that you'd expect on one of these with the um, early bumper overrides. That have caught some <laughs> grass. For those in the modified mini scene, you will recognize this name, which obviously gives you a little bit of an idea of what's sitting under the bonnet. Obviously it's a sunroof model as well. The more I look at this car, the more I see. And I've just spotted the John Cooper signature on the bottom of the uh, which you'll see there on the bottom of the door decals. Just little things down to obviously properly sticky tyres, the dice, caps, the stone guard, headlight covers, housing, the best P700 headlights in my opinion you can get for a mini. Obviously, the wonderful spotlights up. And check out this little fella, a British Bulldog. And a nice little nod to Paddy Hopkirk, obviously. That's obviously what inspired the styling of this car. And I'd already called it Paddy. I've had this car for a couple of weeks now. Uh, and then obviously, it's a nice little nod to our friend, Mr. Paddy Hopkirk, who sadly passed away. Um, just over a week ago, he would have definitely have approved of this car. Let's show you the Lucas <coughs> original Lucas headlamp, original Lucas rear lights. See the badging. So the number plate drops down for those who don't know on mark ones the number plate dropped down because you could actually buy a luggage set that sat here in the boot uh, and came out effectively it was big enough for a standard size suitcase with two on top that you could strap down to show you this has a brand new battery in recent times let's pop that in there so i can show you this is absolutely Stunning. You will also notice I like this sticker Vegio for dementia, your safety devices, rear roll cage. You'll also pay special attention to the sound system it has. And we will just pop them on it. To reveal 
quite possibly one of the most beautiful engines I've ever seen in my time with minis. So this is actually a Metro, an original Metro turbo engine that's been bored out to a 1380cc. Obviously has um, an extremely nice head on it. An upgraded turbo, all of the normal internals that you would expect. Just see if we can get in there. I don't really want to take the cover off, but I'll just show you. <coughs> and obviously, you can see the system here. Obviously, you can see how clean it all is. It's exactly how you'd expect it to be. This pulls like an absolute train with 130 brake. It's running really low PSI. So there's plenty more in the engine if you so desired more power, but 130 brake in a mini, that probably weighs, these later showers were slightly heavier. So it's probably even with the interior is probably nudging on for 800 kilos. <clears throat> and we move on to the absolutely stunning interior. So you can see it's got all its original Cooper interior alloy door furniture. It's got a really nice black upgraded high gloss black dash. Obviously all of the information that you would expect to see on one of these. Some really extra nice individual badging, um, which I'm sure will mean something to the old owner. There is um, a few extra US point, uh, USB points is just behind there I believe yep just behind there and then there's also a charge point over there uh, you have the addition of a I can't remember what they call the horn but it's an, a loud horn anyway uh, the spotlights obviously and an extra override cooling fan if you so desire obviously front and rear fog lights full black carpets and full black leather interior. All important fire extinguisher. Every classic mini should have one, in my opinion, because you just never know. And that could literally stop your car from burning to the ground and the insurance company refusing to sell it back for use for salvage. Just hop in and show you. <coughs> The rear, so obviously matching rear seats, door cards, etc. Obviously, safety device, rear roll cage, which again in a performance mini of this level, I would always recommend. <coughs> and you can see it from the other side. Just look at this mini. I've actually brought the draw forward on this car, it was due to be drawn. On the 7th of August, Sunday the 7th, but because it's selling so well, I'm now going to be drawing it on Monday the 1st. So that is just over 48 hours from now. I think there's about 300 tickets left. So I would recommend going in and getting involved because this one is definitely gonna sell out early. And of course, if it sells out tomorrow or today, I will draw it super early for you guys so you can get on and enjoy your weekend of amazing sport. What else to say other than this is the best we've ever offered. Absolutely stunning. Somebody's gonna win this car for a couple of quid. Maximum of 1,380 tickets. You will not find odds and chances like we have on our competitions anywhere else in the universe. And we also have now given away 35 Classic Minis, a BMW Mini, tons and tons and tons of other prizes so hit the link on the screen www.ukminis.co.uk go get involved and i wish you all luck and i'll see you all live on monday at 8 p.m on our facebook or obviously earlier if the remaining tickets sell out in the next 48 hours good luck everybody